What's up, y'all? Deeks for you here with another video. Just a few hours ago, the NFL hit its franchise tag deadline, and that means we officially know who is going to be free agents and who is staying put with their current team. The biggest news of the day and possibly the week puts a pause on the Bears trading the number one pick just yet, as I reported in my last video. That is the situation around Lamar Jackson, which I'll get into in a bit. So first and foremost, the big talk of the Chicago Bears community was whether or not we would try to get one of the league's top free agent running backs. Unfortunately, none of them made it to free agency. Tony Pollard, Josh Jacobs, and Saquon Barkley have all been franchise tagged. It seems as though David Montgomery will be the top running back in free agency this year. Unclear whether or not he gets paid what he desires. He is a running back who only had one 1,000-yard season in his career, so I doubt he gets paid too much. And it's also a possibility the Bears let him test free agency and either don't bring him back at all or bring him back on a team-friendly, cheap deal after he tests the market. So that doesn't leave us with too many options at the running back position. Miles Sanders is a free agent. He could be a good fit, but other than that, there really is not many moves the Bears can make outside of him in Montgomery for a starting running back, leaving us to the, ja to the draft for our next feature back, or possibly taking a leap of faith with Khalil Herbert as our new feature back. Now, as far as the biggest story of the day that impacts the Bears, Lamar Jackson has been franchise tagged. Now, the reason this is interesting is because this is a non-exclusive tag, which means Lamar is free to speak to other teams and negotiate a contract with them. If and when he agrees to an offer from another team, it is then up to the Ravens to match the contract to keep Lamar, or they can choose not to and Lamar will go to a new team and the team will give up their next two first round draft picks to the Ravens. The reason this matters to the Bears is it puts a hold on the quarterback market. If you watched my previous video, I said Derek Carr was the biggest QB domino to fall. But with this news, teams may wait to see what happens with Lamar Jackson before pulling the trigger on a trade with the Bears. It's being reported that the Falcons, the Panthers, and the Raiders do not plan on pursuing Lamar. So that may be big for us as far as the timing of the trade. But as of right now, everything is on pause as far as I understand. Other than that, no other news has really broke that affects the Bears really. Aaron Rodgers is meeting with the Jets, and it seems as if he's headed there, opening the door for Jordan Love to be the new Packers starting quarterback. Not much news there for us other than watching the division rivals discourse. The NFL negotiating window starts Monday, and teams can begin talking to free agents and agree to deals unofficially. The 15th is when, teams can, uh, when things can be done officially, so stay tuned for that. Next week is going to be, or well, this upcoming week is going to be more and more spicy with rumors. So feel free to follow me on Twitter at DeeksViewOG for live updates on everything going on around the Bears. If you haven't already, check out my previous video uh, for the story circulating the Bears trading the number one pick sooner than later. And if you have, then stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you on that one.